All right. Um, so I guess it's just a case of, oh, uh, look at this. Oh, no, he's not. He's tired. Timmy's tired, and he's thinking of installing a window somewhere. Oh, I see. There. Good job, Timmy. Look at that. He's just, like, sort of lumbering towards his task, and now he's just going to pass out in a wall because he's so tired. As you do. I mean, I've been that tired before. Uh, on many occasions, actually. I've been so tired that I've just passed out uh, inside a wall, and I was trapped, and I couldn't get out after. And actually, I'm recording all of this trapped inside a wall right now, um, because um, the last time it happened, nobody's rescued me. I haven't eaten for about, well, three years. I haven't seen any daylight for about three years. And um, I just, you know, I'm just in this wall uh, recording video game footage for YouTube, because nobody has... Uh, deemed it necessary to uh, to rescue me and of course that probably would happen inside detention center x as well but uh, again we're not going to tell the people who are potentially going to be buying this place um i've noticed that uh we seem to be slacking on gardening duty uh the yards seem to be okay but some of these areas here could really do with some sprucing up so therefore we're hiring four new gardeners <laughs> we've just hired four new gardeners it's okay they're they're pretty cheap to, uh, to maintain, actually. And we've got a lot of money coming in per day anyway. I think staff-wise, I think we're pretty much sorted. Oh, look at all this nice grass now. Holy crap, look at look at Detention Center X. Oh, shit, it looks so fantastic, doesn't it? It really does look amazing. Uh, we'll get these last four cells closed off, uh, hopefully. To, uh, is it just me? Are these guys, like, moving really slow? Want some help here? Don't worry, I got you. There you go. You set up that toilet. Oh, look, I could have helped him too, but... Uh, we'll put it back to north. There, look. I'm manually helping every construction worker with my god hand. Uh, I've got, like, I'm just in a control room and I can control um, all facets of my detention center X uh, with the help of the guards as well. Which is a good thing. It's a, it is a really big bonus. Um, do we want to do a shakedown? Uh, do we want to... What's this? Weapons free. Authorize your armed guards to use lethal force. Do you want to go out big? <laughs> Maybe not, actually. Let's do a shakedown. We haven't had one in a while. Everyone ready? Look at that. 291 places to search now. Holy shit. That's, uh, that's given our guards a lot of stuff to do. Um, they were just getting used to not having much to do. And I've just given them a whole whack of extra work that they now need to do. And I don't think they're going to be too happy about that. Um, I mean, while we're at it, we can also maybe give something for all the construction workers to do as well. Like, lay a ceramic floor inside this laundry room. That would be nice. And let's put, like, a cool metal floor down in this shower room. Oh, shit, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And let's get some wooden floor down in the workshop. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. And let's get some more metal floor down in this cleaning room. Oh, this is fantastic. I fucking, I, I really don't do this enough. I don't lay down, like, floors enough and, and make things look cool. I mean, look at how wacky this looks. It looks like an office building from the 1960s now. Oh, it looks fucking amazing. Look, I love the wooden floor in the staff room, too. I think that's just such a nice touch. Holy shit. Okay, uh, the shakedown is uh, just over half done now. What have we found? We found three cell phones, four packs of cigarettes, four bottles of whiskey, 18 spoons... Four forks, a knife, a bottle of poison, <laughs> what's this, a lighter, some drugs, a hammer, somebody had a saw on them. I mean, how, how's this stuff getting through the metal detectors? We've got them everywhere. We literally have metal detectors everywhere, I don't get it. It's unbelievable. Okay, maybe we just need some more metal detectors. I mean, that's fine. We can set some more up. Look, yeah, more metal detectors, just in case. Just, just for these back cells back here, you know, just the the out of the way cells, maybe. Yeah. Um, God, I just, I think we need this fence back actually too. We don't want people like wandering off out into this this great wide open here. Actually, let's get a fence, but let's also get a jail door just in case we need to ever get staff out into that area. That should be fine. Okay, uh, because we've got fences here and here, closing this all off too. Okay, perfect. All right, the shakedown is almost done. We found just a ton of fucking contraband. Um, I, I'm not sure where are the hotspots for contraband. Nobody should be able to get into this office area, really. I guess the workshop and the infirmary are going to be hotspots. Uh, the, <laughs> the psychologist office seems to have a lot of fucking devious shit in it. I mean, this sci our psychologist is probably the most unhealthy bastard there ever was. Look at that. He's just in there drinking and smoking his head off and... 
He's probably just got his cell phone like taped to the side of his head and the radiation is just seeping into his brain at all times. I, I think it's just like he's got like a death wish or something. Our psychologist actually has some sort of death wish. Very unhealthy. Oh, look at all these families turning up for visitation. Oh, shit, there's actually kids and stuff, too. Don't look at the crims. Don't look in there. Whatever you do, they're all hardened criminals. They're in there for a variety of reasons you don't want to know about. Trust me. Uh, is it is it free time? Oh, yeah, it's free time. Oh, look at this. There's, like, some cross-pollination. Now, medium security. Is that Calzone? It is. Oh, look at that. Calzone's decided that he's going to finally actually take his clothes off for a shower. Fantastic. Calzone is just having a shower. Meanwhile, the janitors are in mopping up. Um, are we are we slacking a bit on janitor duty as well? I think now that Detention Center X is super big, we could probably do with actually having, what, like four more janitors? You say? Yeah? Four more? Great. We have 15 new prisoners arriving in 21 hours, um, and that'll probably be our last intake. I think that'll take us almost right up to capacity. Capacity for 105 prisoners inside Detention Center X. It's day 44. We have six grand in the bank, and we're making 2,670 a day. Shit, we just lost 400 bucks for tasers. Oh, God. I think this, this taser rollout... Oh, my Lord. This taser rollout, I think, is going to actually bankrupt us. We might actually need to take out a... a f holy crap. Is that the... No. Is that... Oh my god. No. Tasers. Stop buying tasers. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> we're in the... We're in the red. Almost. Well, I mean, we're... We're out of money. We might... Do we need to take a loan? Shit. We might need to take a loan. Can we actually take a loan? No. We can't take a loan. Is it in finance even? Valuation, maybe. Sell shares. Oh, shit. Look at how much the prison's actually worth. 280 grand. Holy crap. We're going to actually have to sell shares, too, to get some money back. We're in the hole. 2,236 bucks, uh, thanks to that taser rollout. Um, if we sell 10% of our shares, we'll get 28 grand. Uh, but then uh, when we go to actually sell the prison, uh, we'll be worth a bit less. That's not. I mean, we're not bankrupt. Look, we're still making money. Our daily cash flow, actually, in a day, we should be able to get back even without having to sell any of the shares. It just means that we can't actually do any more sprucing up. Is Detention Center X as spruced as it needs to be? I think it probably is, actually. I think it's almost time. Uh, now that we have, what, 105 uh, prisoner capacity, we've got a whole bunch of new uh, prisoners turning up. Education reform, I think, just takes forever. I don't think we can actually finish it. Uh, cell block D, uh, which is raising our prisoner capacity to 200. Wow. Holy shit. I mean, we'll get 30 grand for that. Well, actually, we get a 10 grand advance payment, so... Oh, there you go. <laughs> we're, we're back in the green. Fantastic. We've just been given 10,000 bucks to um, clear a grant that we probably aren't going to do. Alright. Well, fine then. That's it. We're done. Detention Center X is complete, or as complete as it ever will be. We're going to sell Detention Center X to uh, a potential buyer. Somebody has been lined up and wants to take on um, the monumental task of running this prison. Um, I think we did pretty good. Holy shit. I mean, it was a bit touch and go at times, but actually we fought, we managed to pretty much implement everything that's in the game, bar a couple of things. A couple of grants still left outstanding, I think, um, like these programs here. Uh, foundation Education. Uh, wow, 14 people p passed it. Holy shit, that's not too bad. We only needed 15, but it takes forever for it to run its course again. Uh, and then we would have had to start on the general education course, which is the next one up for all these guys that have finished. Um, uh, inmate nutritional research means that you have to starve your prisoners. Uh, well, you have to give them really good meals for a couple of days and then starve them for a couple of days. And that, of course, is uh, also riot territory, <laughs> which, I mean, I think we've had enough riots in Detention Center X. So there. There we go. Detention Center X. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Wow. Prison Architect. I've been playing a lot of lately. Not only recording, but in my spare time as well. Uh, there is something vastly therapeutic about setting up a, an efficient prison. Uh, Detention Center X, of course, is not an efficient prison, but was fun to sort of jumble together and sort of build and uh, let it grow organically as uh, needs 
uh, arised and we were able to meet those needs. Uh, so that was cool. Fine. Let's do it then. Valuation. We are going to sell our prison for 290000 bucks. That's how much Detention Center X is worth in the end. I have no idea what's going to happen when I sell this prison, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Let's do it! Oh, <laughs> we sold it. Uh, we can create a new prison now with our 290 grand. Ah, I kind of called it. I, I, I figured that that was the case. So if we create a new one now uh, with these new failure conditions on, a medium-sized prison and play... Uh, blammo. There we go. 290 grand from the sale of our previous prison. Well, I mean, it, it has to be said that this new prison here, uh, is probably going to the, be the best, uh, prison of all time. Thanks to the amount of money we raised from Detention Center X. Of course, the plan now is to not make a new prison, but to go on holiday. So, so long, suckers. I am off to the Bahamas to do a bunch of cocaine uh, and spend all my time with hookers and s blow all of these 290 grand uh, that I worked really hard at saving up.